Hey guys, welcome back to more Legends of Link to the Past. So, to start this dungeon off, we actually have to return to the light world real fast. Run into here. Um, hmm. You know what? Since I haven't done this before, and it seems to only be three bombs, may as well do that. <laughs> you don't need to do that to get in the dungeon, but I felt like doing it anyway. What you need to do is uh, drain the water again. At least, for some reason, I think you have to start the dungeon. If not, then, well, I'm doing this for no good reason. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that, uh, when you come here, if you go in there in the dark world, the room won't have any water in it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, since it's been affected here. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Because you won't be able to get up to where that weird ladder thing is unless you, uh, drain water into here. And, yeah, the Elder gives you a hint at, about it. So, yeah. Do that, and you can get in here pretty easily. Hmm. Ugh, getting randomly congested. Like, mid-speech. Die. And kill all those, get this treasure to come into being... Sure, English. <laughs> Sometimes I write English much better than I speak it. Eh, get that. And now I'm pretty not sure where I'm going, like specifically, so I'm just gonna do things until I uh, have success. Nope. You guys die. Die! No oh, map. Well, I may actually need to use that at some point. Maybe. Probably not. Well, it's a fireball shooter. Ugh. I don't know why I'm so intent on dodging. I can block him. Well, let's head into here. <sighs> okay, that... I don't know, copper, gold thing, whatever, in the middle of the room? That thing's a pain in the ass. It's going to do that. Shoot a fireball in my direction every time I swing. And I don't really appreciate it. I got really lucky with the, uh, the fact that Link holds a shield out to the opposite direction, and you can actually use it to block things. Sometimes it's, like, necessary for a dungeon. Nope. I thought there might be a key there. But there is here. Let's get back into that room. Yeah, this dungeon has a lot to do with, uh, Draining areas with water, or flooding them with water. Um, sure. Blow this up. I'm not sure if I have to or not. Ah, there it is. So, last time I was playing Link's Awakening, I was on a long car ride out to my brother's. We kind of do a family trip every now and again. He lives a good three hours away. So I was playing Link's Awakening and I... I think I spent like a good half an hour at least roaming around the 8th dungeon just lost as hell and it wasn't until much later on the car trip that I finally noticed that there was a wall that I would not been able to really like take a good look at I don't know it's you know daylight effects on LCD screens and it doesn't help to see particular, like, details. <laughs> so there's a wall that clearly had cracks in it to blow up that I didn't notice for freaking ever. And after a while, we were, at, like, we'd already got to my brother's. And we were driving around with my cousin. And, not my cousin. My nephew. Our children will be cousins. No, we were driving around, you know, the whole family one vehicle, going to dinner, and it's like, where the fuck do I go? And of course, he's, you know, three, pretty young still, and that's... I'm just, like, getting frustrated in the back of the car. You know, silently, I'm not actually yelling at the game in front of everyone. But he's like, what's Uncle 
Oh, I'm going to call myself Uncle Homer. He doesn't call me that. What's Uncle Homer's problem? <laughs> it was just kind of hilarious because I'm like, where to go? <sighs> uh, occasionally being asked, what are you doing? <laughs> As I'm just like, uh, poor kid had no clue. Now this is a pain in the ass. Gotta hit that thing just so he can come over here. And wasn't there something else that was blocking me in another room? Yeah. Something like that. Eh. Yeah, so now I can get through here, but I'm pretty sure that it blocks off a passage that I need to open, so I'm just going to do that and go back around. And it's going to be kind of embarrassing if I turn out to be wrong on that. <laughs> and the dungeon is starting to get longer. Like, the last one, the last video took me quite a while to get, do everything I wanted. Or, no, the last dungeon did. Because I want to keep these videos shorter. I think everyone, you know, would appreciate shorter videos instead of longer ones. But, I want to leave in the middle of a dungeon, that seems kind of shitty to me too. Whoa, well, I want the frickin' arrows! So, yeah, I'm just gonna have to figure out what exactly the hell I'm doing. Yeah, need to get to that treasure chest. And, for some reason, the last hall that looked like this that didn't have water on the bottom of it, you couldn't push those blocks, but you can push these. Even though you gotta push them through water, I kind of I guess the buoyancy is making them easier to move. Maybe I've noticed that it's people that I couldn't pick up normally. I could pick up while they're in water. So sure, I guess maybe. Ah, there took a lot of damage there, but it's all right. Stupid Mario-esque fire bars. Ah, okay then. I tried to block it and dodged it anyway. Um... Bollocks. Well, I guess I'll come over here. Or maybe this is the chest I needed to get. Yeah, that was the one I needed to get to. I think the other one just has, like, 20 rupees or something. It doesn't come... I've already got all the dungeon items, haven't I? Well, that won't show me. Yeah. Okay, cool. All I need to do now is get the actual, you know, Nice inventory thing for the... Ah, shit. Well, you know what I was going to say. And it's one of the best items in the game. Like, might actually replace the boomerang for me. It does for the rest of my family when they play. Yeah, oddly enough, Zelda is a, uh, like a heritage thing for me. Because my dad, who doesn't really play a lot of games, loved the hell out of the... Well, the original Zelda and this one. He tried to play Ocarina a little bit, didn't get into it as much. I, I don't really blame him. I personally prefer this one, but Ocarina's good too. I know everyone else seems to love it. I think it's just because they're all younger than I am. You know, mostly people that will be on the internet. As, as far as technologically proficient people will go, kind of getting up there in age. Do I really? I have so much money. This is ridiculous. I need to find more things to spend my cash on. I hope none of those skulls had keys under them. So what's down here? Ah, of course, I went the wrong way. I can't sneak by that switch and then push it from the right direction. I need to go all the way back around. Well, that's fine. Um... Crap. I think that switch actually opens up the doors on the other side of the room, too. <sighs> so, long pushing. Now, if only I had the portal gun, that would make moving those statues so much easier. Eh. Um, this one. Yeah, I see. Hookshot's awesome. And it's supposed to have some kind of a vulnerability frame, so you can shoot it when you're going to get hit. And supposedly, the enemy won't be able to hit you until the hookshot comes back to you. 
I've never really used it for that purpose. I just... I think that was one of the game facts, uh... Cheats, slash glitches, whatever I read. While I was trying to find a heart piece guide. Just to make sure I do pick up everything. And... Oh boy, treasure chest! Money I don't need! Money I don't need! Hearts I don't need! And I'm pretty sure those stairs lead back up to the other, uh... The other room. The split path. Blah, whatever. Going this way. I'll run right into this room, which has, uh, nothing? Yeah, pretty much nothing. Just supplies that I don't need any of. I maxed out all of that stuff. But you could see there's another room over it. In this direction, which I think is... Nope. This one. Actually, yeah, that was this one. I wasn't sure if there were two or three rooms. Just... Ah, obsessive. Must kill everything! And we're actually making pretty good progress to the dungeon right now. There's not too much left. Die! Money? Ah, uh, whatever. It's not like I can, I can carry any more of it. Now this one's annoying. It's really hard to get through here without taking at least some kind of damage. Because there's no way to really attack these guys when you're swimming. And you could go blow that wall up, but there's no damned reason because all that is is supplies I don't really care about. And I'm just going to get hit by those things coming back through. And now we're ready for boss! Ow! Holy shit. Slow down and took damage. So much slow down. This guy has too many sprites on him. No, oh, I'll kill you! And this guy's not too bad. They actually, uh... End up reusing something similar to him in, uh... Majora's Mask, where the... Like, water... Temple, was a Great Sea... Bay, Shrine... Whatever. The mid-boss for that area is something like this. Where you got a whole bunch of things on, you gotta pull them off with the hookshot, or shoot them off with arrows. I'm not even sure you can use anything but hookshot here. But why would you? I mean, it's obviously working so out so well. There. And once you got him down to not having any more armor, he's gonna start running around like crazy. He's gonna try and squish you when he hops up in the air. So, just, you know, charge up and then move. And try and get him with the spin slash as he runs around. Oh, went the other direction. There we go. And it won't take too long, and then he'll be dead. There we go. Not too hard of a boss. And there we are. So that is the second... Dark World Dungeon, whatever you want to call them. I don't even remember what this one actually is called for its proper name. In fact, I don't think I remember what hardly any of them are. I think there's the Forest Maze next, but... Beyond that, I'm clueless. And of course, they will all say the, thing, the same <laughs> opening paragraph, and then kind of continue the story from where the last one left off. And explain that the Triforce was the th thing in the Golden Land, it was a hidden secret, it's what everyone wanted because, you know, it would grant wishes, but then everyone forgot about where it was. And then Ganondorf stumbled upon it, and he he wasn't able to figure out how to get back home after he had the power. And unlike an Ocarina of Time, this Ganon got the whole Triforce all at once, instead of getting only the Triforce of Power. It was, like, well, no, I was about to say that it wasn't even until Ocarina that we thought the Triforce could be separated. But it can. We know that from uh, the original two games. In fact, this is one of the few ones where the Triforce is whole. So when you go and stop Ganon, yeah, that's nothing new. I do like that little line, May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce! Back off, enemies! I'm trying to close out the video here, I don't need you trying to kill me. Okay. So next time, I don't even know. Probably just gonna be going like right to the next dungeon. See you later!